Jack Dawson could have survived the Titanic disaster had he made it onto a lifeboat. He was in the right place at the right time to have that opportunity. He knew how to swim, but the icy waters were treacherous and could have taken his life even if he'd managed to stay afloat. Jack had almost certainly volunteered to give up his seat in a lifeboat to a woman or a child to save their lives instead of his own. Although Jack had a lot going for him, he was only a human being and would have been subjected to the same terrible fate as many of the other passengers. He lacked the foresight to recognize the dangers posed by a huge iceberg next to their ship, an understanding which might have saved his life. Had Jack gone to the top deck quickly, he could have jumped onto one of the lifeboats. He had been on land only hours prior to the disaster, thus giving him a better odds of survival had he boarded a boat. Jack also had his resourcefulness and determination to live to the fullest, which could have helped him survive the tragic event. Even if he had been able to board a lifeboat, the extreme cold temperature of the North Atlantic Ocean, coupled with hypothermia, could have cut his life short. He was in the third class section of the doomed ship far away from the first-class passengers who had immediate access to the lifeboats. Although Jack tried to make it to the upper deck to find an escape, he was blocked by the crowds of panicked passengers on the stairs. If the circumstances had been different, he would have had a chance to make it past the blocked passageways and reach the lifeboats. Time was of the essence, and if he had not wasted it by going back down to the third class, he could have saved himself. Jack was a brave and kind individual, and his heroic sacrifices such as giving away his seat in a lifeboat undoubtedly helped others survive. Not only was his life on the line, but he was also trying to help the others who were seeking refuge. However, in the end, his fate was sealed and he had to meet a premature death. Had he dashed up the stairs quickly once the chaos broke out, Jack could have saved himself and perhaps even prevented the tragic deaths of his beloved friends. Some people believe that if Jack had managed to cling onto a floating structure, he may have stayed alive for a few hours until help arrived. Although the chances of surviving such a tragedy were already slim, he could have held onto some weathered wood or a piece of wreckage to keep alive. He may have been able to grab and keep some essential supplies, such as food, clothing, and medical equipment, to help him stay alive. The frigid waters of the North Atlantic had temperatures that ranged from 29 to 31 degrees Fahrenheit. Had he managed to stay afloat, Jack would have had to stay in the water for hours, and hypothermia would have made it impossible for him to survive. His physique was not strong enough to battle the frigid waters for hours. Jack was a capable man, but his survival chances were greatly reduced due to the fact that he had been on the lower decks of the Titanic. The distance to the top deck of the ship and the growing chaos had undoubtedly cost the poor man his life. 